Um, so we are starting today to face the topic of colors. OK, are you ready? Maybe yes, maybe not. I don't know, but uh, don't, don't worry at all because uh, it's going to be complicated and I have to split it in at least two lessons or more. Uh, because for, for, for starting from colors, we have to um, put aside for a while uh, all the color theory related to um, hues and relationships between colors and complementaries and stuff because we have to talk about values first. OK, have you ever heard about values? Did you ever attend a, like a school class talking about values and stuff? Maybe someone, uh, yes, I, because it depends by your background uh, and by the fact if you have attended or not the fundamentals. So I don't know. By the way, as I told, the repetita you want. So it's always a good, uh, a good time to talk about values in colors, at least. And um, OK. I'm going to share the screen. <laughs> Have you guys all uh, up uploaded uh, the assignment on Classroom? So I can refer to that later when I have to visualize everything. If you haven't done it, uh, please do it. And um, be careful about the naming convention, just because that is important, not just for the assignment, but in general in the working industry. That every time that uh, we say to, to give a proper naming convention to a file, you have to stick with that uh, as much as possible. Because it's also best, better for us to download the things uh, in bulk uh, and then uh, go find possible uh, stuff in a useful, like the minimum possible of time. OK, don't you worry, Andrea, about the, the mood board, because uh, it's just a trace for me for that, but we are going to, uh, to see it together uh, later in time. It, the, the most important part uh, is the practical exercise, the one uh, um, about light paint, light painting, OK? okay. Share the screen and please tell me if he is. Can you see it? The one with yes. the meat. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And we just break the ice and start with topics, uh, <laughs> having everyone focused and stuff like that. I personally love the girl. Every time it's relatable to anyone. So, I know it's an old meme actually, but it always cracks me up. Yeah, I don't know if there is a way in which I can mute all the mics from here. Otherwise, please mute the mic if there is some interference or something like that. OK, so let's start talk about values in colors. And why to start with values? Because uh, it's simpler for people, for, uh, for me, for every one of us, for the humanity in general, uh, to understand uh, how colors works by starting starting by examining the value contained in a color. OK, so before like facing monsters uh, like colors that we can't properly uh, tame, uh, it's better to the, um, the structure, uh, the basis, the basis and um, take the values as, a, as first thing to review. And then uh, we can add more layers of um, of complication uh, in during the next lessons and stuff. OK, <clears throat> so we all refer to colors by the Munsal approach nowadays, in which we, we used to split the colors, at least the visible on the spectrum. They are the only one, the only colors we, we know. 
I don't know if there are any colors outside of the spectrum. Can you imagine another color? Can you imagine a color different from the ones visible? It's an interesting topic every time and it amazes me, but we can't actually see other colors outside the spectrum. This, uh, these colors can be divided by U, chroma, and value. Maybe some of you know chroma as saturation. There is a little difference between chroma and saturation, but we are going to keep it for later. For now, uh, chroma is, is, let's say, the most classical definition of satura then saturation. Saturation came later. And, um, um, and they respectively stands for U as the, the proper visible light, like the nature of the color itself is the U. Mm, can be blue, can be yellow, can be red, cyan, magenta, yellow, um, orange, sorry, etc. etc. The chroma or saturation, that is the, pure, the, the index of purity contained in a specific U. Um, and then the values the value of a proper color. The value is the specific index of brightness or dark darkness of a color, okay? And it's not something that refers just to color with the white or colors with black, because also the uh, full chroma, the, the U with full chroma has a proper specific value, okay? <clears throat> And well, the importance of, of value that is from the fact that it, uh, it is the essential information in, uh, in a color. It tells uh, uh, enough uh, about the, the relationship between uh, a darker value and a brighter value. Um, it defines also the distance and the illusion of depth in a 2D canvas. Also because we always refer to this kind of illusion uh, every time, because every time when we see a picture, uh, we uh, kind of translate uh, a 3D space, but the illusion of painting is that you are actually seeing a 2D canvas with a space that gives the illusion of a three-dimensionality, okay? And might be something to take for granted, but it's all, it's, it's, every time it's something that, that amazes me, like, like it's, a, it's a proper illusion, the fact that you are watch, watching a picture, but the picture depicts something more uh, and more. I know that it's might be simpler because like we are in 2023 and, and the, the pictures are the protagonists, but every time you have to keep in mind that you are creating illusions, okay? <clears throat> uh, well, the, the important fact in black and white pictures is the fact that all the informations are contained in the values. Uh, so that's why values works like that also in a, in a situation in which uh, some colors are, pre are uh, present in a specific painting, okay? <clears throat> and what defines the values, even in, if we are talking, talking about a monochrome situation, a bichromatic situation, a full color situation, uh, as all the specific details about uh, the distance from the camera, um, the, um, well, the density of, um, of an object, uh, the I don't know, even the nature of the object itself, uh, uh, the nature of the light, how the light affects the surface, everything is stated by values and by the relationship that many values um, have together, and so on, and so on, and so on. <clears throat> and it's not just a question of brightness, but is the brightness is itself contained in a color. Now, uh, have you already seen this kind of comparison in which uh, we have a color wheel and we have a range of view and each uh, range of view has its own specific uh, index of brightness. In this case, we can translate it, uh, translate it in a grayscale. So you see that every color has its relative in a grayscale. <clears throat> And even the, um, the full chroma, like the, the, the U with a full percent of chroma, have different uh, the values in the same grayscale. Some colors tend to be darker and some colors tend to be lighter, even with the same specific amount of chroma. And that, that's it, that is really important when you have to deal with colors, because sometimes maybe you will deal with composition with uh, colors that are totally different in terms of um, uh, brightness. So you have to take in consideration, according to changing the tone and the shade of the color, um, to, uh, you have to pay attention to what is brighter and what, what is darker. Uh, here we can see that the yellow, for example, is the brightest one. 
uh, that follows by some shades of green. No, maybe uh, the second brighter is the dark blue or something, like dark blue indigo or something like that, uh, followed by the greens, followed by the oranges and the shades of red uh, to, to get, in fact, to the violet uh, bluish tones uh, in which the, uh, the brightness is way darker uh, than the one containing yellow. Okay, this this is something that is might sound confusing at the beginning. I don't know if everyone are, uh, is familiar with the theme of brightness in colors, <clears throat> because sometimes we make a mess with colors because we we don't we are not paying attention of the original uh, index of brightness contained in the color. Uh, because the more we complicate the color, let's say, so the more we go to a secondary or tertiary color or um, a darker shade or a brighter or a brighter tone of color, um, the more it's complicated, for, it's complicated for us to perceive the index of bright, brightness in a U. So let's uh, <clears throat> um, so let's le start from the basis. Let's see. Let, let's start from the basic use and see how the basic use behaves in terms of brightness. Mm -hmm.